Good morning. Today we are going to be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit three, lesson two, represent unit fraction multiplication. We're going to write expressions to represent multiplication of unit fractions, remembering that an expression, an expression is a mathematical sentence without an ending, right? So it could be two times three. I do not put an equal sign. It could be one-third times one-half, right? That's the expression. I don't have to solve it when I just ask for an expression. All right. Let's go on to which one doesn't belong. Remember, when we can do which one doesn't belong, we can choose any one as long as we can back it up with a reason. I could choose A. A doesn't belong because it has two different colors of blue. I have a dark blue here and a lighter blue here. I could choose C. C is the only one who has vertical cuts, but no horizontal cuts. I could use, choose D. D is the only one not split completely, right? If I wanted to split the whole into one, two, three, four, five, six parts, I would have to continue cutting. So the whole is not divided up. Only half is divided up. For B, I notice that B's picture, this little blue part, is much smaller than all the other blues. And I think it's because this piece right here is one, two, three, four, five, one fifth of half of the whole, right? One fifth of one half. One fifth times one half, right? I can see one fifth here and one half of us here. All the other ones, if I'm looking at just this dark blue, I could say that's one third and this is one half, right? One third times one half. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but if I cut it in half right here, I could say that this is a half and this is one third of that half right? Here again, I have one third, third is one, times one half. So I could have chosen B because it's the only one whose piece is smaller because it's one fifth times one half. Notice that I just wrote expressions. I did not write equations. All right, let's move on to our first activity. Oh, let's talk about this. It says, how does diagram A represent the expression one-third times one-half? Well, we kind of said that already, right? This piece here, this piece here is one out of, oops, there's my pen, thank you, one out of three, and up here I have one-half. So one-third times one-half will be, and we'll talk about that later on. So that's how that shows up. Okay, let's move on. Show one-third of the square, shade one-fourth of one-third of the square. How much of the whole square is shaded? Well, we can do this in a number of ways, couldn't we? First thing I need to do is show one-third of the square, right? So show one-third of the square. So I could cut it this way. Let's see, one-third would be one, two, and this would be one-third. And then it says shade one-fourth of one-third of the square. So if I did that, one-fourth, I'd have to cut this way four times. One, two, three, four. So shade one-fourth of that third. This would be what I would shade. But there's a lot of different ways that I could have done that, right? That's the way I chose to do it, but there's another way I could do it. Let's cut it a different way. What if we decided to cut thirds this way? One, two, three, right? Here are my thirds, one, two, three. So one third. And then I could just cut this in fourths. Again, there's my one fourth of one third. And I didn't cut up the whole thing, right? One fourth of one third. All right, another way I could have done it is I could have cut it again in thirds from the top or the sides, cut this by fourths, right? So here's my third, 
And then I could take this and color it in pink. And then I could take a yellow and color these in yellow. I'm still representing, right? I'm still representing one third and this piece is one fourth. So how much of the whole square is shaded? How much of the whole square is shaded in pink? I think they want, right? One fourth of one third. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it's one piece out of twelve, isn't it? One piece out of twelve would be shaded. They both. All right. So number two. I think it's the same thing, right? Show one fourth of the square this time. This time I'm going to draw one fourth of the square. So again, I could cut this into fourths. And then I'm going to shade one third of one fourth. So I'm going to cut this into thirds. Shade one third, one third of one fourth. Again, I still have 12 pieces, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm shading one block out of those 12s. How are the diagrams the same and how are they different? Well, what's the same? They both have 1 12 shaded. They both have 1 12 shaded. They both have a third on one side and a fourth on the other. What's different is I just put them in different spots. But does it matter? It doesn't, right? Because 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. I'm going to get 6 no matter what I do. So whether I say 1 fourth times 1 third or 1 third times one fourth, I'm still going to get one twelfth. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to the next activity. Priya, oops, synthesis. How are the diagrams the same? Well, we just talked about that. How are they different? So, would these equal the same thing? We just talked about that, right? They both gave me 1 12th when I drew them, whether I had 1 4th first or 1 3rd first. So they both work. All right. Priya shaded part, part of a square. Explain or show how the expression 1 5th times 1 half represents the area of the shaded piece. Okay, so let's think about that. The square is divided into two halves, so I can see that here. So I can see those are halves, right? This is one half and this is the other half. And then I can see that they're, each half is divided into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And so this piece right here would be one fifth. So the square is divided into two halves and one fifth of one of the rows is shaded. Okay. Explain or show how the expression one half of one fifth represents the same thing. The same thing. Well, the square is also divided into five columns. Five columns and half of one of the columns is shaded. So I could think of it about that, uh, that way too, right? So these two things are going to be the same. And how much is that? One tenth. One tenth of the whole piece. Write a multiplication expression and represent to represent the area of the shaded piece. Be prepared to explain your reasoning. So how much of the whole square is shaded? So here's where I'm going to write my answer, but this part just wants an expression, an expression, so I don't need to write an answer. Well, I can see that this side is one, two, three, four, five pieces, and one of those five is shaded in. So I can put on this side one-fifth. 
And then at the top, I can see that these are divided into thirds, and one-third of one-fifth is shaded in. So I would say one-third times one-fifth, or one-fifth of one-third. So how much of the whole square is shaded in? How much of the whole square is shaded in? Well, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, I can multiply that and figure out that the whole square has 15 pieces. And how much is shaded in of the 15? 1. If I didn't remember that I could multiply 3 times 5, I could just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So one fifteenth of the whole square is shaded in. Are there any words or phrases that are important to include in our display? Well, when I was thinking about this, I did come across some words that I hadn't used before. I used fifths, whoops, fifths, one fifth. That was new, right? We hadn't split things into fifths yet. We had columns, and we had rows. What else did we talk about? Halves. We still talked about halves. We have that on the board already, but we're going to add to it. Tenths. We came up with a tenth and a fifteenth. Remember that? Fifteenth. You're going to have to remember how to spell that. Fifth. There we go. Let's see. Let's erase this part. Yep. Okay. Um, we had number of pieces. Number of pieces. Some other words we might say. Um, and then we had the size of the piece, right? All right. Let's move on. So we're going to add that to our board in the classroom so that we can refer to that if we wanted to. How does Priya's diagram show the expression one-fifth of one-half or one-half of one-fifth? Again, I can see across the top, one, two, three, four, five. We've split that into fifths, right? And I have one shaded piece on that side. I can see across the side, and I can talk about either side, it doesn't matter, that this is split into two pieces or halves, and I have one piece that is shaded in, right? One piece that's shaded in. All right. Let's move on to our cool down. Oh, how does the shaded piece in the diagram represent one-fifth of one-thirteenth? How does it represent one-fifth of one-thirteenth? Well, the square is divided into three columns, three columns, one, two, three, and uh, five rows, one, two, three, four, five, right? We talked about that already. So this is split into thirds, one, two, three, and one piece of that is shaded in. And this is split into fifths, five pieces, and one part is shaded in. So that's how I would represent that. Again, we would use the same reasoning for one-third times one-fifth. And we know in multiplication that it doesn't matter what order we multiply in. So how much of the whole rectangle is shaded? Again, there are 15 pieces altogether, and one piece is shaded in. So we always want the whole rectangle when we talk about that. So we can say one-fifth times one-third is one-fifteenth. Or we can say one-third times one-fifth is one-fifteenth. I hope you can notice some patterns there, some patterns. So let's move on to the... Synthesis. Today we wrote multiplication expressions to represent shaded rectangles. We also wrote fractions to represent the side, size of the shaded piece. How do you know these equations are true? 
we can see the shaded part of the diagram for both one-third times one-fifth of the whole and one-fifth times one-third of the whole. We can also see that one-fifteenth, because the whole squared is divided into 15 equal pieces, and one of the equal pieces is shaded. All right, here's our cool down. How much is shaded? Again, I'm going to count the pieces at the top, and I see that there are two pieces and one is shaded. I'm going to count the pieces along the side, one, two, three, four pieces, and one piece is shaded. So I can write an expression, one half, because that's what it's asking for, an expression, right? It's not even asking for an answer. One half of one fourth. I can also see one fourth of one half. And I'm using the word of here for the multiplication symbol because those two words are interchangeable. And then if they did want an answer to this equation, this expression, if they wanted me to make an equation, I could say that 1 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 eighth is shaded. But all they wanted you to represent was an expression. All right. That's it for this time. I hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe these videos to help me to keep making them.